Hello, I'm Ian Thompson of Nevermind the Buzzwords and today I'm looking at the GROW model. In terms of coaching, it's useful to have some guidance during the conversation and Sir John Whitmore a number of years ago developed this particular model and it's called GROW for the obvious reason that it's got the letters G, R, O and W in it. So quickly going through the four elements, G is about goal. What is the goal that the individual is seeking to deliver? In performance coaching, what is the new level of performance that we're looking for from that person? Then R, the reality, is where are they just now? And quite often, people have a perception of where they are just now, but it isn't necessarily the truth. And so sometimes you need to work with them to really understand where they are just now so that they can move to the new future. I often think about it as being the future reality, getting into their heads that this is what it is going to be like versus the current reality. And that gives us a gap. This is the what do we need to do to change the performance. And now knowing what the gap is, we can then look at options. What are the options that we have to fix this? What could we be doing differently that would give us a new level of performance? And inside of that, we might be looking at risk issues, constraint issues, uh, personality issues, of course. And once we have decided what it is that we need to do that will resolve the gap, then we need to be thinking about the way forward. What is the plan that will take us, the route map as it were, from the current reality to the future reality? And along the way, we want to check this thing called will. What is the individual's commitment to making it happen? So of course we'll look at their competence to make it happen and then we need their commitment to make it happen. Now, this model is not a four-step model. It, it is four different dimensions that we need to deal with in any coaching conversation. Sometimes people will start with the current reality. Oh, the problems that I've got, the difficulties that I've got, this doesn't happen, that doesn't happen, and we need to elevate them to, so what is it that you want to have happen? What would the new way be that we're wanting to have in the future? So we might play around in goal and reality for some time until we definitely have clarity on this and we have clarity on that. Sometimes they'll go into options. Oh, well, we could be doing this, we could be doing that. Okay, that's helpful and let's get these ones fixed first. Now, once they go into options, say we have them some clarity here, once they go into those options, it may be that they begin to think, ah, there's a feedback into this area or this area that I haven't thought of originally, so we might have to go revisit these as we think through the options. And even in the planning stage, there is no reason why we don't look back and look at some of the other areas. So what I want you to think about is the GROW model has four dimensions, they are not four steps. And that the coaching discussion can be therefore quite messy, it wanders around a little bit, and the job of the coach is to be the guide, to make sure that in that conversation, in the time constraint that we might have, that we do get clarity on the goal, clarity in what's actually happening, what we're actually going to be doing, what's the option that we've chosen to bridge the gap, and then what's the plan. Now sometimes we'll send the person away to work on the plan so they can come back and we can review that plan with them and when they have clarity, of course, maybe their commitment, the will, will have improved as well. There is a question which I sometimes use in a coaching session when we get to will. And I will then say, this is a magic question, which says, so on a spectrum of zero to 10, this solution, where does it sit? And if they come out with, say, a seven, then I will ask them to think about what would take it to an eight or a nine. 
and this in allows the unconscious mind to review everything to say yeah why did i say a seven what is it that's missing and sometimes they'll go back through this process and add and improve the solution that they're going to have you can only use this once once people get used to this idea then guess what their answer will be 10 every time and you don't get the benefit of encouraging their conscious mind their unconscious mind to work through the issues hopefully this gives you a brief introduction to the grow model and starts you thinking how you can construct your coaching conversations in the future